I thought that if God could take away such a woman of faith at an early age, that there is no God. Hey, I'm Rose. Uh, I'm a freshman. I'm a chemistry major, potentially French minor, and I'm uh, involved with Hopkins Christian Fellowship, uh, the Gospel Choir, I'm on their worship dance team, and I'm also in Thread. My father was Catholic, my mother is more Pentecostal, so they, although they set the foundation, like yes, there is a God, they let me find my own way to worship. I felt God's absence when I was 12, 11, kind of, because that's when my mother passed away and she was really the strongest pillar of faith through my childhood because I learned my faith through her. For me, I thought that if God could take away such a woman of faith at an early age that there is no God. I was actually an atheist for two years, yeah, from like 12 to 14, and it was a really dark period in my time. The pain doesn't necessarily ever go away, but you should know that God can be in the midst of pain. Even though I didn't like it, my family still had me go to church. And then towards when I was 14, um, a family friend who was also a pastor, she heard about my story and she just talked to me and she, I saw God through her again and it gave me hope that God really does exist. God is hope and He really does love everyone. If I saw myself, I would let myself just not be saved. But when Jesus saw me, it's not even that He knew that there's something good in me. He knew that God loved me and that's why He sacrificed His life. Jesus Christ to me is a man who should have never done what he's done for me. It's okay to question things. God actually calls you to question things. The Christian community here is yearning to have conversations with people of different faiths or of people who don't have a faith or who are skeptical. Finding the balance between expressing my faith and not sounding preachy, sometimes it is a little hard. As a Christian, I don't want to be judgmental or prejudiced. Rather, I want to know as many people as possible, hear as many perspectives as possible, and be as open as possible. There are events such as like Text to Toasty where I've had really interesting conversations, or uh, even at HCF Large Group where people who have been doubting, they ask questions to the speakers, and that creates a very uh, good and controversial dialogue. Through accepting Christ, we're all now His chosen people. So feel free to question Him, feel free to doubt Him, but just know that when you're vulnerable with Him, that's when He'll show Himself.